Hey, Mr. Matt, do you know what time it is? I don't know. Mr. Keith, what time is it? I don't know. Mr. Dan, what time is it? I don't know. Mr. Eric, what time is it? I don't know. Mr. Joe, do you know what time it is? It's Rick Derby time! Let's race. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, welcome, Pack 2 friends, scouts, parents, to the Pack 2 Brick Derby. Mr. Eric and I are here, and uh, looks like we're going to have a great race. So yep. Let's start. The, the competition's about to heat up on this balmy Saturday afternoon, but first, let's have our uh, Pledge of Allegiance done by Owen. Three, two, one, go. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. And yeah, we're having a technical difficulty. Uh, well, unfortunately, we weren't able to host this event in person, which is always fun. But uh, the leaders, particularly Mr. Sean, Mr. Dan, uh, have worked very hard to produce an entertaining live stream. So we hope that you enjoy it. That's right. Uh, for those that are new to the Brick Derby, you could consider this a soft opening for the Pac-2 Raceway as we prepare for the highly anticipated Pinewood Derby. All right, I'm going to switch over and push it Three, two, one, go. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Okay, well, the pledge is now working out, so we are just going to do it ourselves. All right. <laughs> Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Can I have... <laughs> On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, and to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. I am not good at that. Mr. Keith. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, courteous kind, kind, obedient, obedient cheerful, cheerful, thrifty, thrifty brave, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. Well, Mr. Eric, that's okay, because as you can see, I am not wearing the correct neckerchief today. I uh, am wearing a Weeblos neckerchief, which is a little small for me. I noticed that, so... <laughs> I you, grabbed the wrong one on my way out of the house. You weren't prepared, but you tried your best. And that's the scout motto, and that's what we're doing here today <laughs> at the Pac-2 Raceway. We are going to do our best. On behalf of Pac-2, just want to give a big thank you to Ace McQuaid's Hardware. Ace is the place for all your scouting and hardware needs. So as we were saying, this uh, Brick Derby is sort of a soft opening as we... Uh, for the raceway as we anticipate the, the highly anticipated Pinewood Derby. So this is a more relaxed event. It gives us an opportunity to test out the track and the equipment. And the scouts get to have fun. They, they get to use their creativity and make some imaginative brick cars with minimal restrictions. Essentially, if the wheels fit, it's not too wide, not too long. And, uh, for the track, it can race. That's right. Last weekend, we had the opportunity to view some test runs on the track and we were actually shocked by the results. Normally, heavier cars have the advantage, that weight, but uh, the light and the mid-weight cars were actually having some more successful runs. So it will be interesting to see the results unfold through the afternoon. Absolutely. And we are ready for the first uh, run right here on lane one. We have Jackson's on number two. We got Owen on lane three. We have Riley's car and lane four we have Jackson P's car. Oh, and here we go, Jackson Nuggethead Wolgamuth. His car make is blinding fast. All right, Tiger Den Racing. You can see his 
bio on the screen, Jackson likes to go fast. And sponsored by his father. Kudos, Dad. Owen the Milkman Martin. Oh, the Milkman Express. And as a sponsor, he has his uh, YouTube channel. Check it out. Bear Den Racing. Gamersville, Illinois is where Owen hails from. And Riley Rai Rai Ballister. Lion Den Racing. Age six. Loves dinosaur toys and Legos. He's got Christmas racing car. Oh, I like Santa driving the car there. Excellent. And Harambee Traders, his sponsor. The reindeer must be invisible, Mr. Key. They must be, Mr. Dan. <laughs> They're flying. <laughs> and Jackson the Brick, number seven, sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Hometown of Denmark. Hailing? Came all the way from Denmark to all, join us here today. All the way from Denmark. The brick is heavier than the Titanic, oh, he says. Oh, my goodness. He's got a Ford Mustang. So I can't wait to see this opening race. And here we go. The racers are ready. Lots of anticipation here today for this race. And we are ready. Oh my goodness, and a tight a race. race. And there's a little bit oh, of a collision like... in the, uh, at the end. Oh, classic brick derby collision at the end, but fortunately no explosions. So it, it looked should like be an easy repair. Lane one, lane one was Jackson, I believe, uh, Wolgamuth. And we'll get the results momentarily. It was. It was. Jackson Wolgamuth, lane one, wins that heat. An Followed excellent start to the derby today. Okay. Followed by Jackson P, Owen, and Riley Rye Rye. You see in the replay, they were neck and neck until they came to the straightaway, and then there was some separation. Oh, and there was a bit of an explosion. That's part of the fun of the Brick Derby, Mr. Eric. It is, and it looked like a domino effect. Lane one shifted over, hit lane two, and then lane three hit the aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, no, the damage wasn't too extensive, so it should be reparable. And they are in the process of setting up for the second race. You can enjoy the, and here we go. Lane one, we got Ben K. Lane two, Caleb M. Lane three, Tynan. And lane four, Andrew M. And we'll get a quick little intro on each of the uh, scouts on their vehicles. So while we wait, uh, Mr. Eric, I actually have a joke. This is a favorite of uh, Enzo. Um, why do hummingbirds hum? I am not sure. Why do they hum? Because they can't remember the words. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jackson. Jackson. We so, have Jackson the Brick. I believe the brick was uh, just in the past race. Yep, we're on the, the new slide, Mr. Sean. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, we're still working out a little bit of a tech difficulty here, folks. So, um, as we go through the derby here, we'll have the opportunity uh, for people to call in. We'll give you that number in a minute. So we have Ben Jetpack Kushner uh, with the Animal Rescue car. Got a cactus on there. He is part of the Lion Den Racing Team, hometown Bradford. Ben is always on the lookout for fast-moving jets. Also likes to play the cello. Excellent. Caleb moving up Martin. AOL Racing. He is in lane two. Mint ice cream cone is the car. And look at that. That looks delicious. And he seems to be climbing up to the corner there. Uh, where is that? That must be rock spot. <laughs> the key. Ooh, Tynan the Terrible. 2020 did not do well for him. The Unfortified Fortress. <laughs> Sponsored by the KGV, my goodness, Mr. Eric. <laughs> well, we are all over the place here on this one. <laughs> Hometown of Moscow, Russia. 
Andrew the Chooch Morton, Tiger Racing, hailing out of Westlake. He's got the he's got Martin Motors is the vehicle. Sponsors is Punch Out. Andrew is so fast that he can beat Piston Hondo. <laughs> Punch Out. <laughs> All right, and we are ready. And the racers are off. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! Oh, clear victory there. Clear Looks victory. Like one of them wasn't able to finish completely. Oh, and there we go. A oh, assistance from Mr. Dan. Rick Derby fashion, we did have a little bit of an explosion. And we are going to get the results momentarily. So you can see the uh, the rerun. I'm noticing, Mr. Eric, that as in years past, the cars are usually neck and neck until they get to the straightaway, and then that's when it really seems to. Uh, uh, unfold absolutely and, and each each lane sort of has their own conditions too that's why they each get a, an opportunity to race on each lane to even it out that's right we got to make it fair and it looks like andrew won that particular race congratulations tying in, in second ben k in third all right who's next mr sean and we are setting up for the next race connor k so we got Connor in lane one, Andrew K in lane two, Mason T in lane three, and Ben in lane four. With the speeding pizza. So we are going to have the opportunity for scouts to call in. Uh, the number is 401-824-4566. Call in if you want to share some thoughts on the Derby today. We got Connor Esco Eskimo Martin with King Pig. And that is a creative <laughs> vehicle right there. He is with AOL Racing out of Westerly. Don't let the warm and cozy appearance fool you. His heart is cold as ice in competition. And Andrew 178 Chicken Hatcher with the Chicken Mobile, sponsored by Hova Bader. Andrew is going to scramble the competition. Part of the Weeblos Racing Team. Hails from Westerly. Absolutely. Look at and that. 178 years old. He must have a few races under his belt, Mr. Eric. A lot of experience there. And Mason, Racing Mason with the Mason Mobile, sponsored by Fun. <laughs> you don't want to be racing, Racing Mason. <laughs> But we're uh, we got... finishing up with the intros. Ben Dubs, the Speeding Pizza. He's the Domino's Pizza Hot One, sponsored by Domino's Pizza. Hails from Tatooine. Tatooine. <laughs> Countdown. Let's go live back to the track. And in three, two, one. And they're off. Oh, it's a tight one. Ooh, tight race. Looks like lane four had it, Mr. Eric. It, that's what it looked like to me as well. We'll get the results momentarily. But, yes, that was a very close race towards the end. Yep, it looks like he cleared it in the end. Ooh, lane and that egg, that egg must be on the, uh, the, <laughs> the chicken mobile pretty, pretty securely because I thought for sure that might come off. Looks like no damage on that race as well, but got a little no, crash. No. It's part of the fun. Ben Wogelmuth, Speeding Pizza, congratulations. The speeding Pizza. Now, Ben is actually the reigning Pinewood Derby champion, if I remember. So, starts off strong Excellent. here at the Brick Derby today. Okay, oh. and here we go. We have Enzo in the delivery truck in lane one. Lane two is Natalie, Pink Paint. Lane three, Cooper. And lane four, Jack K. Oh, here he is, Enzo Hank. Sponsored by the Boston Red Sox. He's in the delivery truck. He's going to make everybody want to stop and eat. He must have some delicious treats in that truck. Sponsored by the Boston Red Sox, but hometown of Los Angeles, California. Interesting. Covers all coasts. Natalie, Unicorn Mountain, uh, Martin. AOL Racing. Sponsor is Roblox. I know a lot of scouts that like oh, that yes, game. Yes, Roblox. Very, very popular. Pink Paint Speedster, and look at that thing. Woo! Super Cooper Ballister. Tiger Den Racing. Milford, Connecticut. Cooper loves to play Mario games and is a champion at Mario Kart. So let's hope that experience translates to some uh, success here at Pac-2 Raceway. Sponsored by Waffles. 
Ooh, Jack Diesel Kushner with the boat shell. He is a guest driver today from Bradford, Rhode Island. Former Pac-2 scout, currently driving with St. Pius Troop 16. Very interested in trains. This boat will be inverted today. Inverted boat, very interesting design that we have not encountered before. There we go. We are ready. And they're off. And they're off. And oh, oh my goodness, I think the boat may have had it. I don't know, it's a tough one between delivery lane one and lane four, the delivery truck and the boat. They, the it was tight. Strong showing, but bike. I will say, the boat is a guest, so it will not interfere with the uh, scouts. Ooh, I think that was the boat with the delivery truck in second, I believe. Oh my goodness. And look at those views. We are just right into the action. And it was. It was Jack K with Boat Shell, Lane 1. Enzo trailing not too far behind in Lane 2. No, strong showing by both. Natalie in Lane th in third place. <laughs> so, uh, oh, here we are, folks. We're ready for the next race. Oh, we got my car, Mr. Eric's. We oh, got my Squats goodness, Mr. Scout. Eric is in the mix now. Yes, the, la the leaders get to enjoy this. So I am in lane one. We have uh, Joseph in lane two. We have oh, Vito, Vito in lane three. And we have Wesley in lane four. This is an all-out Wolf Force race. Indeed. Oh, and there he is, Mr. Mr. Master Crafter Eric. <laughs> Car makes Squatch meets Scout. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's a little Sasquatch on there. I'm a big believer in Sasquatch. Mr. Eric bleeds blue and gold for one hour a week as a den leader assisting youth in becoming successful outdoor explorers and proud productive citizens that's right on he enjoys outdoor activities himself and found a toboggan team as well yep and then sadly we're not going to race this year it was supposed to go on in february in camden maine and they had to cancel it due to covid so next year we'll get to compete wes and i are on a team called sons of tobogganville oh excellent <laughs> well that should be a lot of fun we have Joseph, Brickmaster Arsenal. He's got Applebee's as a sponsor. He is driving Splash. Catchphrase, what the flip? <laughs> Joseph is new to this to this race. Oh, yeah. and Vito, the Beast King Ginther with the Mysterious Plane, sponsored by the Mystic River Marina. Vito is a veteran racer on the Pac-2 Raceway, competing for a derby win and bragging rights at home. That's right. Indeed. Enzo in the past race, they are brothers. Vito likes to build sli uh, sleek, light brick cars that are engineered to compete on land, sea, and air. And that is sleek for sure. Bedtime is the right time to fight crime. <laughs> and we got Wesley Bricklayer Billado. Oh Ray my Willis goodness. Toys and Remy Cycle as a sponsor. He's got the A-Team brick van. That looks like Mr. T on the back that right there, Mr. That is Mr. T Eric. on the back. I he, think he pities the fool he who's likes competing his, against Wes. He likes his brick car the way he likes his milkshakes. Thick. He's known to put the brick in brick <laughs> derby, creating builds that are weighty and blockish. He is a two-time champion, so you got to think that he's a favorite this year. Proven to be a winning strategy. And here we are, getting ready for the next race. The tension is rising. We've already had some very competitive races today. A couple good crashes. And they're off. And oh, that is a tight oh, race. Oh my goodness! It looks like uh, looks like uh, Wesley and myself both had a uh, neck and neck. Lanes one and four. But a good showing all around. Oh, that was tight, Mr. Oh, Eric. Goodness. I think the A-team might have had it there. Strong showing by all the races. Oh, and it was. Wes, yep. It was the A-team. Wes comes in first, followed by Mr. Eric, not too far behind. Congratulations, Wesley, followed by myself, Vito, and Joseph. It looks like we have a record on the track. An excellent race. Well, I'll tell you what. Pack 2 always comes to compete. Uh, I'm just happy that the tree on mine stayed. I was a little worried that it was going to go flying. <laughs> Not too many explosions as of yet. Mr. Sean, what's your favorite part about being a Cub Scout leader? 
Probably that only takes about an hour a week. All your scouting and hardware needs. Mr. Matt, about how long do you spend each week getting ready for your meetings? Not long at all. I'd say maybe only about an hour a week. Mr. Dan, what's your favorite part about committee meetings? Well, Mr. Sean, my favorite part about the committee meetings is that I keep them to less than an hour a week. Mr. Keith, what's the most rewarding thing about being a Cub Scout leader for you? Oh, it's the best hour a week you'll ever spend. Mr. Eric, what would you say to parents who are thinking about being Cub Scout leaders? Hmm. Well, if it's taking you more than an hour a week, you're scouting wrong. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mr. Eric, it really is amazing how much you can get done in just one hour a week. One hour a week at a time. <laughs> and we're ready for the next race. We have Nathan in lane one. We have Landon in lane two. Bo in lane three. Aiden in lane four. Oh, yes. So a mixture of some wolves and bears. We got Nathan, engine number two Turner. They call him engine number two because he just keeps going. He's got that second engine that kicks in. He's a veteran racer. He won most creative in the 2019 Pinewood Derby. Oh, excellent. He's got the flame car. His car can go fast. His car can go slow. Let's hope that it goes fast today. That's right, Mr. Eric. We have Landon Lightning. The car make is the Pool Rocket. Got a multi-level effect going. That is an excellent design. Sponsored by the 99 Restaurant, part of the Wolf Force Racing Team. Oh, almost eight years old. Another veteran racer of Pack 2 who won coolest looking in 2019 Pinewood Derby. Jet Boosters on. <laughs> Billy Bob Bo, Bear Den Racing. He's got the meme machine, and look at that thing. Sponsors Pack Wild. My car just broke. The internet. <laughs> Billy Bob's cars are always faster than his Wi-Fi. <laughs> and Aiden Dump Truck O'Neill with the Polar B B150, sponsored by GameStop. <laughs> Hometown of Trash Heap, Russia. <laughs> Aiden is a veteran racer on the Pac-2 Raceway. The Dump Truck is fond of dropping a pile of bricks and rubble on his competition as he hits the finish line and his car explodes. What has four wheels and flies? He does. <laughs> and here we are, folks. The racers and are they're, ready. They are lined up, ready to go. And three, two, one. And they're, and they're off, they're folks. Off. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my. Oh! Whoa. A little bit of a collision at oh, the end. Oh, we got some loose Legos at the bottom, folks. So the diving board fell off the rocket pool, but that could be easily repaired. Woo! Ooh, they were jockeying for position, but lane four clearly took Looks it. Looks like lane four had it, indeed. I think that damage isn't too bad. We can we can fix that. Oh, we have some professional brick repairs here. And we had Aiden in lane the polar one. Polar 150 took it. Followed by Landon, Bo Kelly, and Nathan Turner. Some excellent races here today, Mr. Eric. Now, what, what do you think about our, our hypothesis that we uh, were discussing earlier about perhaps it was the lighter cars that maybe more aerodynamic cars that had an advantage? Yeah, I'm, I'm really not this... sure. This sort of goes against everything I thought I knew about physics, and I just chalk it up to this whole 2020 thing, I guess. Indeed. <laughs> In our next race, we have number one, lane one. Oh, Mr. Matt Oreo Cookie. Lane two is Liam D with a bolt. Lane three, James, and lane four, Paige. Mr. Motormouth Matt, Bear <laughs> Cub Racing. He is sponsored by McQuaid's Ace from Woburn, Massachusetts. He is no stranger to racing. He was also a Pac-50 Pac champion in the Pinewood Derby. You know, I didn't even know they had Pinewood Derby way back then. Thought they were made out of rocks. <laughs> he, Lightning Liam Dosher in the bolt. Oh, it looks fast. Look at those flames coming out. That is sleek. Sponsored by Minecraft, number 365, all year. Hometown, Coral Town, Nether. 
When Lightning isn't eating a watermelon pizza, he is eating up the racetrack. Watermelon pizza, very interesting. I'll have to try that. Oh, I, think, I think we might have missed a couple of the slides there. Oh, we don't have, we're missing a couple of slides for James and Paige. La, uh, Still setting up the track. We are getting ready. I think uh, maybe this is time to introduce one of our sponsors. All right. Um, Pack 2 uh, Raceway, one of our sponsors is the International Association of Dancing Pandas. Oh, can't forget them. I've always been a, a firm supporter of Pack 2 Racing. You know, it's kind of uh, ironic that uh, those guys are back with us as a sponsor this year. I mean, we had that terrible incident uh, two years ago uh, with the Kung Fu Panda escaping from the uh, L.A. Zoo, I believe it was. I remember that. Yeah, and it was that wonderful statesman who told us years ago, uh, Dan Quayle, I believe it was, that, uh, you know, martial arts and bears, it, it's just not a good mix. Yeah. <laughs> That's some sound advice. How he wasn't uh, our president, I have no idea. <laughs> and as you saw, Mr. Matt making a cameo eating an Oreo. We'll have a few more of those coming in. And they are ready. Oh, look at that. Lane four, three. Oh, my goodness. Or lane one took it. Let's see the replay. Let's see the replay again. Yeah. Like you said, Mr. Keith, it, it gets close, and then they start to separate a little bit towards the end on the straightaway. A little bit to, to load the replay, but what's coming? Here we go. So we thank you again for joining us on this live stream. We hope you're enjoying it. And there oh we go. Oh my goodness, it looked like lane one had it. One, two, four, followed by lane three. So Mr. Matt with the Oreo, Oreo cookie. cookie, followed by Liam Dosher. Excellent. Congratulations, Liam. That's great. And we're we should mention that there's three separate or two separate pools here, one with the pack two scouts and one with the siblings and leadership. So that way that we know that. Absolutely. So despite Mr. Matt's victory, that doesn't affect the uh, the official results for the scouts. So the scouts have their own division, the leaders have a division, and siblings of scouts have a division. So we will go over different victories. And actually, while we're talking about the scouts, they're actually playing for a Lego trophy. So hopefully you guys could see that at home. You get to build it yourselves once you win it, so congratulations to whoever gets that. Sadly, the Legos are going to come back home with me. But that is an excellent trophy for your display <laughs> case. A hard-fought victory it'll be here at the Pac-2 Raceway. Absolutely. A little bit of fun to get through the monotony of being home all day and some bragging rights. Stiff competition as always. And in our next race, we have Miles Speedy Roy, sponsored by Mom. Car make the bat sled hometown of vermont age 10 miles is the speediest speedster that ever speeded and you're in lane two yeah, all right and lane two we have noah lane three we have connor noah and connor are both hailing from uh troop 16 uh Connor Smith. Oh, Connor, Smith. <laughs> Connor Smith is part of the Weeblos then. I oh, believe we Connor have Smith, yeah. slides for Connor and uh, James. We'll have to see if we can dig those up. They did prepare uh, their bios, but we'll have to see if we can find those. And, and lane, lane four, four is vacant. I don't know about you guys, but my money's on lane four for this race. <laughs> Two, one, and here we are, folks. Oh, my goodness. That was a close one. Hard to tell. Was that lane two, Mr. Eric? I don't know. Lane four was so quick, I didn't even see it. Ooh, it looks like lane two might have just squeaked by. That was very close. Looks oh. like it. Lane two, Noah, followed by Connor and Miles. Man, that was a close race. That was a good one. That is some exciting racing we got here. Our, our scouts never disappoint. No, it's always an entertaining 
Always an entertaining race here. Does that bring us to the end of heat number one? Oh, well, and here we go. <laughs> Look who's in this race. We have Oliver in lane one. Lane two, Mr. Keith. Oh, dear. Lane four, Logan. Lane three is vacant. And Oliver Twist from Bear Den Racing. Car make the motor ad. Sponsored by Twizzlers. Delicious. After years on the motocross circuit, Twist is making his first race with Bear Den Racing on the Pac-2 circuit. Asked if three wheels give him a disadvantage, he responded, I could beat these guys with one wheel tied behind my back. <laughs> far, far. All right. And they're lined up and ready to go. And three, two, one. Off. Ooh, look at that. They oh. are off. Oh, and it looked like lane four took it. it. Looks like lane four. Look at that. All right. I think that's the end of heat number one. I think Let's that's what the results say. I think that's the end of heat number one. We'll get the results. And an excellent first heat of racing. Logan came in num in uh, first place. Oh, Mr. Keith in second. And Oliver in third. Some excellent racing here today, Mr. Eric. Woo! Like I said, they never disappoint. They come to play. They they uh, they make some excellent machines here. And Very creative builds. Indeed. And again, if any scouts would like to call in from home, uh, the number is 401-824-4566. And we also have the chat feature uh, here on our stream as well. And we had Tabasco84 say hi. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for, for the greeting. So we're just waiting for the results. Uh, we're not going to be able to display them all, I don't think. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be able to display the results. Hi, I'm here on behalf of Pac-2 in Westerly. Do you have an hour a week where you're doing nothing? Maybe sitting around playing video games? Bored with nothing else to do? Well, you too can join Cub Scouts. Pac-2 is accepting new applications all the time literally all the time all you have to do is join pack two by going to our website and following the instructions i hope to see you with pack two it's unbearable oh my goodness always have an, always a pleasure having the bear <laughs> oh. you know, I, i've heard so much about the bear so it was, it was nice to finally finally see it come out you know it's really nice to have the bear mascot here officially with us i mean i'm not sure who that is or who we got to do that but it's great to have that guy here with us he's a very mysterious individual they that did, bear they did an amazing job he's always entertaining he's very kind i think i recall seeing him uh, promoting scouts on the corner in downtown westerly one time too <laughs> there are rumors to that effect I, i'm not sure if they're if they've been validated or not <laughs> <laughs> The Pac-2 Racing is, uh, has a number of uh, proud sponsors. Um, another, another of our sponsors here today for today's race is the Recreational Celery Farmers of America. Oh, yes. Another green movement that I'm fond of. Yeah, you know, there's a little known fact that the uh, celery uh, growers actually have their anniversary on 421. Because apparently a lot of people are really hungry for some unknown reason on that day. And that's, that's right. a green movement we can all get behind. Absolutely. <laughs> well, celery is a is an excellent healthy snack. Um, classic celery uh, treat would be the ants on the log. Absolutely. Right. Slather a little bit of peanut butter, top it with some raisins. Classic I, classic snack. I did that with my den in uh, when we learned on healthy snacks, I believe, in when, when they were lions. So we are ready. It looks like we're ready to start the second heat and no car in lane one lane two is nathan with the flame car lane three caleb and lane four james with the i believe james's car was the uh was a porsche uh, 1970 porsche turbo 300 300 i believe it was <clears throat> and james is uh was the speedster
We are ready to go. So the cars are taking their positions and we are just about ready to start the second heat of races. difficulties I believe we're having. I feel like there's going to be a lot of controversy with uh, technical difficulties today. You know, uh, we're trying to uh, avoid them as much as we can. We, we are now experiencing some technical diff difficulties. Please bear with us while the Pac-2 leadership addresses these technical difficulties. While you're waiting, enjoy a nice dance. Oh my hey, goodness, we're back. that bear again. That bear always gets oh, here me we fist go. And we're ready. And they're off, folks. Oh yep. my goodness, lane two. We got, one, we got the, the Porsche that stopped partially. Oh, and there it goes, folks. And it's inching forward. It looks like lane three may have, oh, the flame car. It looks like the flame car took it, Nathan, Nathan T. Turner, flame car took it. His car did go fast. Followed by Caleb Mint Ice Cream. And here we are getting ready for the next race of heat number two here. We have Vito in lane one with the mysterious plane. Ben K with the animal rescue car, lane two. Lane three is empty, and lane four, Riley B. We are making some repairs to the camera, so that should be back online soon. I gotta say, I was I was very happy that we got to make a car this time. We always we always get to uh, enjoy the, the festivities of it, but we don't actually get to participate. It was a lot of fun. Oh, indeed, Mr. Eric. It takes it to a new level when you can be part of the race. And uh, while we wait for the cars to get ready, we have another uh, joke that was a uh, favorite of Vito, one okay. of the racers. How much did the pirate pay to get his ears pierced? I'm not sure. How much did he pay? A buccaneer. <laughs> <laughs> Vito always with the crowd pleasers. Oh, he's always good for him. I believe we're almost ready to start the race here. You know, and speaking of jokes, when we had our, our latest uh, fundraiser and we got to tell some jokes to, at Ace uh, to raise money, some of the community really got involved and they even shared jokes with us. That's right. We, we did enjoy that. And here we are. We are ready to go now. Three, two, one. A oh, false start. No, we were just making sure start. everybody was ready. Testing <laughs> reaction time here for Mr. Keith and Mr. Eric. Now, Mr. Matt, what would be your take today on the race so far? Well, I'd have to say that we're garnering quite a lot of controversy with these technical difficulties. There's been calls, uh, repeated calls from many of the racing teams trying to say that there might be some shenanigans going on here today. Oh, dear. That perhaps cameras are being shut down purposely in order to uh, afford racers the ability to change their cars midstream. But I can tell you right now, being here at the raceway, it is a bastion of integrity. Well, there's we, nothing here that that's right. anyone should be concerned about. We run a clean race here at Pack Pac 2. I don't know. We do have that one racer that's uh, that hails from Russia, so there may be some interference <laughs> on that end. I'm not sure. I did notice there were actually two Rus two Russian racers on the track today. Oh, that's right. Um, you know, quite a number of our racers are coming from overseas, Denmark, Russia, uh, all over the country, really. But uh, it's very interesting to see those international racers making their debut here with Pack 2. Huh. Indeed. And... And they're ready. And here we are. I think we're live this time. Three, two, one. And they are off. Rearing to go. Oh my Lane goodness. Four Lane took four it. took that, I believe. Neck and neck. Oh, and it looks like it was Riley B in first place with the animal rescue car and the mysterious plane, they were neck and neck. Followed closely by Ben and Vito. Uh, 
uh, family was part of the aquarium. Really? Yes. Oh, that is an excellent. That's amazing. That is an excellent way to give back to the community. And community service is an important part of what we do in Pack 2. We enjoy helping to clean up the chapel and the pines at our uh, sponsor, uh, the DCCP, right behind us, the Dunn's Corners Community Church Presbyterian. And uh, we also enjoy marching in the Veterans Day Parade. One of the one of the best parts of being a scout is appreciating your community and giving back to your community. Absolutely. Want to give a shout out to Wesley Guy who says hello on the chat. I'm assuming that is Liam, because I know Wesley Guy is his father. And here we are. We're ready for the next race here. The cars are getting ready. We have lane one, Paige. Lane two, Oliver. Lane three, Joseph. And lane four, Tynan. And they are getting set up right now. And lane four, Tynan, he was one of those Russian cars. <laughs> Tynan the Terrible. Who's Tynan? Is that Ben Wolverman? No, Tynan. That's his own name. Oh, here's oh. Mr. Matt. Oh, my goodness. Oh, right here. I got it. Got it. Got it. I smell Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to. I'm trying to get it. The, the Mr. Matt is. is, uh, is fa oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that looked like that was delicious, <laughs> Mr. Eric. Yeah, he thoroughly enjoyed that. I could use an Oreo right now. I'm getting the... Uh, cars are lined up and ready to go. Hungry for an Oreo cookie myself, perhaps after this next race. And hello to Andrew Kitchen, who says hello on the chat. Hello, Andrew. And Thanks here we are. Us. And they are off. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Looks like a clear victory clear for lane victory one. Clear victory for lane one. do at pack two is we go typically to the westerly health center and we do some singing there for the uh for the residents at the westerly health uh center and uh one of the songs that we like to sing with them is uh it's called the oreo song we get them up out of their their wheelchairs and and uh they sing this song with us and hopefully shortly uh you'll get to get out of your seats and join us with the oreo cookie song too who doesn't who doesn't love the Oreo I cookie know, I song? I love Oreo cookie. Who doesn't love a good repeat after me song? Oh. Yeah, repeat after me songs. We do a lot of uh, run-ons and all kinds of fun things, especially when we're camping and doing community service. Indeed. So hopefully Andrew's still on. He is in lane one. With a chicken. Followed chicken by Miles mobile. in lane two. Landon in lane three, and we got Bo in lane four. With the mean machine. All right, getting the track set up still. And they are, here oh, comes and Mr. there he Matt comes again, again. <laughs> Mr. Matt. You know, he loves his Oreos. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love? Who Oreos, doesn't love really? a good Oreo? Have you had the pistachio ones? I I did, was not even aware that there was a pistachio Oreo. Oh my god, I think those are my favorite. The uh, mint cream in the Roy House is the favorite. Oh, the mint cream. Yeah, the mint cream. I was also very familiar growing up with uh, the other Oreo uh, competitor style cookie of Hydrox. Oh, <laughs> familiar Hydrox with the Hydrox. Bomb. That's a bit of a throwback cookie. <laughs> I used to enjoy those at my grandparents' house along with the S cookies, the Stella Doro. Okay, the track is ready. And here we are, and folks. Are We're ready. ready. We go. got a full, full slate in this race. In three, two, one, and they're off. Oh, oh my boy. goodness, what a finish oh, on no. that one! Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. It looked All like right, lane, lane two, two had it in the so, meme machine. Looks like Miles. Look, I think nope. the pool rocket uh, suffered some damage on that run. He did a little bit, but it looks like.
Harry's way. So lane two won, but in that instance, that was not uh, beneficial. <laughs> well, and here we are. We're getting ready for the next race as we complete those repairs. So we got Mr. Keith in lane one. We have Cooper in lane two, Natalie lane three, and Liam in lane four. And if Mr. Keith's car was uh, called the Snack Attack. So we got Liam is uh, still on the chat. He is he is ready to watch. How many folks do we have live viewing right now? Thirty-four. Don't forget that's multiplied by a thousand because those are units of one e three. Back to us, 34,000 live viewers. 34,000 live viewers, I knew, we are viral. I knew we were fun, but who would have thought? It's, uh, and I promise I didn't pay for any Russian bots to sign up <laughs> on the stream. Uh, people might be investigating this Russian connection for quite a while to come, but I think we need a, more on that later. An and thank you, Crystal, who is cheering us on. Great job, guys. So much fun. We appreciate the encouragement. Mrs. Pansiero, that is song. Mrs. Pansiero. We give a shout out to all the leaders of Pack Two. Indeed, we our uh, committee chair or our, our um, org rep. Charter org rep, yes. Crystal Pansiero, our uh, advancement chair, uh, Laureen Smith. Yep, all our awards because uh, of her. Don't forget the Cub Master, Mr. Oh, Joe. And Mr. Joe. Where would we be without Mr. Joe? And, and just a quick thing, if we're giving shout-outs to people, I'm not sure if anyone's aware, but this broadcast is actually up for a daytime Emmy uh, for Best Production. So if you do get the opportunity to vote, make sure you're voting for Sean Martin. Indeed. And Mr. I Sean, the man behind the scenes today, orchestrating this with precision and, and poise. An excellent production. And I Working through any technical difficulties. Oh, and there he is again, Mr. Matt. Yep. He can't get enough Oreo cookies. I think that uh, he's, I, he's smart to look left and right, though, because there, there's, there's a few of us that are itching to get our hands on some, but he's, he's being cautious. I think we might be building up to something with the Oreo cookies. I'm not sure. But I, we are now ready for our next race in three, two, one. And they're off, folks. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Those three finish on one, two, and three. Very, very close. Lane one, pink paint. Followed by Mr. Keith. Oh, the snack attack almost took it. Cooper and then Liam. Oh, a tight race. That's what we like to see at the back two races. And we got Andrew Kitchen. Woo! And we are getting ready for the next race here. In lane one, we have Aiden and the Polar B150. Lane two is Logan Smith. Lane three, Owen the Milkman. And lane four, Connor. Low battery. And we uh, want to encourage the viewers to use the uh, chat feature. We have to recharge, I believe, here. But we still you can have also, the phone number. You can also call in to uh, 401-824-4566. We'd love to hear what you have to say. We hope you're enjoying this and having as much fun as Mr. Eric and I are Absolutely. calling the race today. Come join us. Let, let's be, be heard. Again, 401-824-4566. And uh, Mr. Barry Musto says that uh, I think formal uh, commission is required. Oh my goodness, it seems that we maybe are generating some controversy. Oh, and as the snow picks up here today at the Pac-2 Raceway, conditions may be adversely affected. Mr. Eric. Absolutely, it's getting a little chilly down here. We've uh, got a little bit of flurries. I, uh, geez, I didn't think that it was going to snow here today. I didn't see that in the forecast. If I had known, I might have asked Bernie Sanders if I could borrow his mittens. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and that comfy back to and back to racing would like to thank Reverend Wayne and the Dunn's Corners Community Church Presbyterian for their continued support and for their hosting us uh, for all these years. I would just like to add to that uh, thank you to the Dunn's Corners Community Church. Without them, we would not be here. They are a chartered org, 
rep um, chartered organization, which means they host PAC2. They provide to us a clean, safe environment for our scouts to meet. And um, without them, PAC2 wouldn't uh, be here because right. we're tied to that chartered organization. They and, certainly um, go above and beyond. And they have been there supporting us all the time. In the past, they've helped our scouts go to camp. And um, like I said, thank you to uh, Reverend Wayne and to all of the elders at uh, Dunn's Corners Community Church. And thank you to Crystal Pansiera, who is our chartered org rep, who handles all of our communications. Um, so thank you very much. You know, fun fact, I was in the youth group at Dunn's Corners Church. Is that right? Yes. I was a young little whippersnapper. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> Are we supposed to believe at some point you were a youth? <laughs> or is there not one now? I believe yes. Mr. Eric is certainly a kid at heart. I was a youth, and I think my wife will say I still am. <laughs> well, you say I may grow old, but I'll never grow up. <laughs> oh, that's right. And we are ready now for our next race in three, two, one. Oh, a preemptive start, and they're off. They couldn't wait to get going. <laughs> so much excitement here at Pac-2 Raceway. Oh, my goodness. People are chomping at the bit to get going. It looks like lane two took that one, Mr. Eric. Ooh, Ooh that, that was close. Was lane close. four came off, came up quick at the end. Absolutely, yep. We had uh, Logan in lane two, followed by Connor in lane four. That was a close race. Aiden in third. And I gotta say, I'm enjoying this format. I can't say enough, I can't give Mr. Sean enough praise for uh, Going above and beyond with all these camera angles, I I feel like I have a better experience viewing it like this than when it's live. I think we have a call. We do have a caller. <laughs> I do believe that caller is asking whether or not we'd like solar panels for our home here at the raceway, but yeah, I think we're good. And as we prepare for the next race. It might so be, it might we be have a, some uh, live call in. We do have a call. Sounds like it might be a, a young Pac-2 family. Oh, caller, can you, can you? Uh, oh, I think I know who this might be. How many times did Mr. Matt eat in his Oreo? <laughs> I believe that is Enzo G on the phone, Hank, and he's asking how many Oreos has Mr. Matt eaten so far, and there he well, is, he's again, he can't help himself, he loves those Oreos. Well, we did get a jumbo pack at Costco. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying the race from at home today? And uh, who do you have as the winner? Who's your who are your bets on? Are you guys enjoying the race from the today? What did you say? Mr. Dan wants to know who do you think is going to win the race today? What? Sounded like he said maybe a uh, bricklayer, West bricklayer. I, I think he might have said Wes. I think that's right. A, a fellow uh a fellow wolf. Sounded like Vito said that. All right. Who's in lane two? Indeed. So it looks like they are, uh, they're setting up the track for the next race. We're going to have uh, Ben in lane one, Mr. Matt in lane two. So uh, he's just finishing up an Oreo cookie right now, and he'll be right on it. <laughs> Jackson in lane three, and Mason in lane four. Well, thank you to Enzo and Vito and Talia for calling in. Sorry there. <laughs> Oh, right. we're so glad we have some participation with people calling in and using the chat feature. This was the whole idea of this format was to find a way that scouts could participate and have some fun building cars, doing profiles, and we're doing our best to pull it all together. And it, I think uh, we're having a lot of fun here today, and we hope you are too. Yeah, I think we're, we're having way too much fun. <laughs> And here we are, ready for the race in three, two, one. Oh, oh, and oh, they are primed to start, but it looks like it looks like they we might need a little help. Oh, we gotta reset the track. Hold on, folks. Tech is great when it works, huh, Mr. Keith? That's right, Mr. <laughs> Eric. Now I know for a fact that that uh, launching mechanism is is a little bit, a little bit uh, touchy. 
You have it to is. get it set up just right. And I think we might be ready now. Yep. Serves us well. And in three, two, one. They are off. Ooh. Oh my goodness, a tight race, Ooh. and I think lane one had it and, and went off the track. It looks like it, yes. Woo, some spectacular finishes that we're having here, Mr. Eric. So much momentum, it just had to keep going. Some good crashes. Well, looks like all of them had a little bit of a lane shift. Yep, we got those Troop 16 boys are fast to pick up the cars and get them repaired for us. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, first place was Ben with the speeding pizza. Mason in second, Mr. Matt in third, and Jackson with the Ford Mustang. Thanks to those in, from Troop 16 that are helping us out. Thank, we thank you for your uh, service. And Vito, when he called in, also wanted to say that Timber the Wolf is cheering everybody on from the Ginther household as Mr. well. Mr. Dan is over here on the side cam, and I wanted to give all you folks watching from home, the Pack 2 Racing, a little taste of what's going on here. It, Eight found behind the scenes. Over here we have Mr. Sean and yeah. the Peck, uh, Connor and Caleb running the computer. Got the track all set up here. You can see a little behind the scenes action. And uh, all the hard work is starting to pay off here. And uh, thank you for uh, all your support and all your help today, guys. Let's have to a hand, uh, especially to Mr. Sean. Oh, oh, back to you, Mr. Sean. I, I gotta say, when when I came in the downstairs when we were just gonna practice and I saw this full setup, I was thoroughly impressed. I could not believe it. Oh, indeed, indeed. From having the track set up to all the cameras and integrating all this technology, you certainly need somebody who knows what they're doing. Yep. There's no shortage of talent on the leadership here in Pack Two. And here we are, getting ready for the next race. In lane one, we have Jack in the boat shell. Lane two, Jackson W. Lane three, Andrew Martin. And lane four, Connor Smith. Now, I believe Connor, in his profile that we had prepared, he was the Flying Cloud, and his sponsor was the First Responders. Oh, very nice. I believe. Connor uh, also, I believe, uh, comes from China. Okay. If I remember correctly. Another international. Another international participant, and his quote was, I believe, it's hot in here. <laughs> Trying to remember <laughs> off the top of my head. Again, we did make slides for uh, Connor and James. Um, so I'll try to do my best to remember. Well, sponsored by First Responders, we can't give them enough thanks, that's for sure. We have a good relationship, Pack 2, with uh, Dunce Corners Fire Department, our local police department, Ambulance Corps. It, it, they're incredible. They they. They really work out well when we, whenever we need to visit or get some information on some of our adventures. They're willing to, to help out and, and show us what's going on. Indeed, that's a strong, strong part of scouting is showing appreciation for those that serve our community and trying to do our best to serve our community as well. But you guys may not know that some of these cars are actually waiting. You can't see it from the outside, but watch this race. See how this blue car does in lane four. Does it look like it's as fast as it should be? Oh dear. Well, we'll have to take a closer look, Mr. Dan. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 Oh no, some technical <laughs> difficulties again. Uh -oh. Looks like it might have to be reset a little bit. We'll take this opportunity for uh, to mention another one of our proud sponsors here uh, at the Pac-2 Raceway. Uh, we are sponsored by Nose Hair. Nose Hair. We're kind of gross, but we do serve a purpose. I'll tell you, Nose Hair is a growth industry. It definitely is. You know, it's amazing the type of things you're buying these days on the internet from Nose Hair. My dad, for Christmas this year, we got him a wig. He looks lovely. It's a little sticky, but you know what? It does well in the wind. Is that and right? I bet it smells great. <laughs> oh, it definitely smells a lot better than it looks. <laughs> so in lane one, we have... Oh, okay, so we're going to figure it out. Oh, and the snow has started up again here at uh, the Pack 2 Raceway. I was wondering, Mr. Sean, if we might uh, give a taste of that Oreo cookie. All so right, folks, so we, we one are one more race in heat number two. Progressing through the race here today. One more race in heat number two. That's right, Mr. Eric. And and 
be prepared because in intermission we are we may have the Oreo cookie repeat after me song. There's been some build up today for the Oreo cookie song. And uh, I got to say, I am very impressed with the cars that we see here today. A real uh, flair for creativity in this pack. Some very colorful cars and colorful backstories and profiles for these racers. Absolutely. And we hope that it's getting you as excited for the upcoming Pinewood Derby as well. Yes, the Pinewood Derby, as we talked about in the opening, is a little bit more serious affair. Uh, both scouts and their parents it's get very should, into the Pinewood Derby. It's funny you should mention the parents when we talk about the Pinewood Derby, because I feel like the Brick Derby is where our, our scouts really excel. But the Pinewood Derby, I believe, is where our parents really excel. <laughs> um, but, you know, you can always tell the difference between the cub car and the parent car. Um, but... Either way, as long as we're all spending an hour a week to get our cars into the racetrack, that's all we can ask. That's right, Mr. Matt. And I'd also like to point out here, uh, Mr. Matt has a, a very stylish and excellent uh, purple microphone. I do, I do. Actually, this is a great boom mic. It actually hit me in the head earlier today. <laughs> so I just picked it up and been walking around with it. So it works well. Oh, it works well. We can hear you crystal clear. So, Mr. Eric, what's your prediction for the... Uh, the rest of this race here. Who do who do you like for the grand champion here today? Well, I may be biased because he's my son, but I think Wesley Bricklayer will uh, may uh, he has a great shot of taking it. Uh, I'll tell you, he he enjoys building his his thick brick cars. That's another nickname for him is thick brick. Wes certainly an adherent of the uh, the heavier car school of thought. Absolutely, but it'll be interesting because I believe he's going to have his first Pinewood Derby this year and. It's a, it's a little bit of a different school of thought when it comes to designing pine car versus brick cars. Oh, indeed. And there is a slight bit of controversy when it does come to Wes's car this year, uh, particularly since his driver, uh, Mr. B.A. Baracus, I believe. Oh, is yes. Name, is a wanted felon. Uh, <laughs> at one point, I believe he was framed for a crime he did not commit, put in jail, escaped, and now he works as a soldier of fortune in the LA for Underground. a race car on the Pac-2 Underground Raceway. I will say, yeah, they, they might have a ringer of having Mr. T on the, on the VA Baracus on it as, a, as his driver. And Mr. T, very uh, familiar with driving because he's not a fan of air travel. That's right. He ain't getting on no airplane. Despite Hannibal's repeated attempts to get him onto the plane, Mr. T is not a fan. So they are loading up. We have uh, Wesley in lane one. My car, Squatch Meets Scout in lane two. We have Noah in lane three and Enzo in lane four. Oh, the delivery truck in lane four. So what I want to explain to our viewers is that the last race did not uh, complete successfully. So it will be added to the end of this heat and the results will be recorded uh, appropriately. So stay, in stay tuned for the last four cars. Thank you, Mr. Dan. And that's right, we uh, hold ourselves to a very high standard of integrity here in Pack 2 racing. We definitely take it very seriously. Hi. When my car breaks down, there's only one place to go. But when my Lego car breaks down, there's definitely only one place to go. And that's Napa Auto Parts in Westerly. Napa knows how to support Pack 2 and Pack 2 Racing. That's right, Napa. Uh, we appreciated them letting us uh, set up for the bake sale that we had a few. Uh, yeah, that was last year. We had a very successful bake sale. Napa, Napa Indeed. and Ace are very good about let it, uh, hosting us for our fundraisers, and Napa, of course, lets us go on their farthest wall, so we're as close to the uh, Aldi doorway as possible <laughs> to uh, to try to hone in on some of that action as well. That's right. In fact, too, we. Uh, we do our fundraising so that we don't have to charge dues and uh, we can make it an affordable and uh, fun uh, scouting experience for, for as many scouts as possible. We're always looking for new members and uh, we always encourage participation of siblings as well. Absolutely. So they are ready and lined up. And here we are. Three, two, one. And they're off. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What a finish! It was a little bit of a glitch. I couldn't even see. Is there a car that ended up upside down? It looks like it. I don't think I've ever seen that before, Mr. Eric. Oh my goodness! It looks like the the A team. Oh, the 
Yeah. Oh my good, the A-team ended up upside down. So the A-team ended up, the spoiler broke a little bit, but we can make that repair. So, oh, he still managed to do it even though he tipped upside down. Oh my Wesley goodness, was, impressive. Wesley pulled it through and then we had Noah followed by myself. And Enzo. And Enzo. And so Enzo. Th this is an amazing race. Look at that, though. That's a tight race, Mr. Eric. Not much spread between those cars. No, there. this was very, very close. Wow. These are all very blocky cars, and it looks like I think we got to make a repair to my camping uh, vehicle a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think Mr. T might have fallen off the top of the A-team on that one. I'd be <laughs> impressed if he held on, although he is quite strong. <laughs> and here we are, folks, for the next race. We have Jack K in the boat shell and Jackson W. And we have Andrew Martin and Connor Smith. Oh, with the hot tub. It was the hot tub, the moving hot tub. That was the name of Connor's there car. There we go. That's right. This is that heat that we were supposed to do, I believe. Yeah, correct. Okay, so this is the makeup for the other heat. So we were making up to uh, get back on track here. No pun intended on that track. <laughs> you need any help rebuilding or are you good? Mr. Eric. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Keith. When skunks fly, what what mode of transportation do they use when a skunk flies? I'm really not sure. That would be in a smellicopter. <laughs> but I'm bump. <laughs> there it goes. Pack two known for its awesome jokes. <laughs> and let's see if we got anybody anybody else on chat. And I think we are almost ready for the race here. The racers are lined up. Yep, hot tub time machine, or hot tub speed machine. Hot tub speed machine. There, there you go, is, Connor. See, thank you. Connor for... corrected you, so thank you very much. Thank you, Connor. I was doing my best to remember. And here we are. Three, two, one. And they're off. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. The boat shell. A lot I of momentum the... with that upside down boat. I think the boat took that it's one. It's got weight and aerodynamics. So we got Jack Lane. Oh, and a new record by Jack. So we had two record breaking races so far, and it's only been half, we're only halfway through. That's right. All right, who's up next? That is the end of the heat, too. That is the end of the, that heat. Is the, end of the heat, too. So I think uh, during our intermission, we might have a repeat after me song. Well, I got to say, Mr. Eric, I am um, very impressed with the racing here today. It certainly doesn't disappoint. No lack of excitement here at the raceway. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. On this? And uh, I think I was suspecting, Mr. Eric, that uh, there may be something coming at the culmination of all these Oreo teasers. And uh, I think our anticipation is about to be rewarded with a repeat after me song one of the pack two favorites oh it's a staple and i hope you all this is a repeat after me song this is a repeat after me song oreo 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 cookie oreo 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 cookie i love oreo cookies i love oreo cookies First you rip off the top, then you lick out the middle. First you rip off the top, then you lick down the middle. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Good job. One more time. A little bit softer. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo cookie. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo cookie. I love Oreo cookies. I love Oreo cookies. First you rip off the top, then you lick out the middle. First you rip off the top, then you lick out the middle. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. One more time, a little bit louder. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo cookie. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo cookie. I love Oreo cookies. I love Oreo cookies.
First you rip off the top, then you lick out the middle. First you rip off the top, then you lick out the middle. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. One more time, really angry. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo cookie! Oreo, Oreo, Oreo cookie! I love Oreo cookies! I love Oreo cookies! First you rip off the top and you lick out the middle! First you rip off the top and you lick down the middle! Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy! Tummy, tummy, tummy in my tummy! Tummy, tummy! Good job, everybody, good job. Always a crowd oh pleaser. <laughs> Always a crowd pleaser with Mr. Matt. That was a fully committed performance right there from both Mr. Matt and Mr. Sean. Impressive. Oh, we appreciate their... One of the uh, favorites at the Westerly uh, Health Center. And, and I got to say, I, I think that uh, the number one fan of the Oreo cookie song is probably Mr. Dan. <laughs> Mr. Dan enjoys setting up the Oreo cookie song. <laughs> <laughs> as Mr. Matt enjoys doing it. Uh, well, you need that, folks, too. You need you always need the, the the hype man, the setup man, as well. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, that was an excellent performance. And uh, I'm getting a little bit of activity on the chat. Oh, you noticed the uh, the the angry part of the song looked like WWE up there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same thing. It looked like they might actually uh, come to blows there for a minute. Yeah, and on the chat, yep, yeah, Oreo cookie definitely uh, a favorite. Continues to be a favorite. Confirmed by the chat. <laughs> oh my goodness! So the first half has has been pretty exciting. Two records that were already that we've already managed to have. That I mean, what's to come in the second half? Oh really? That was some some record breaking performances here today. Yeah, we had one by uh, Wes and then one by Jack. I think Mr. Sean is getting uh, us a couple of uh, bios on some of the racers that we haven't had available yet. Excellent. I was uh, James, Speedster, and Connor, who was the Flying Cloud. And did you do the hot tub one? That's right, we're trying to catch up with some of the uh, profiles. And here, oh, Cloud Jumper, there he was, Connor. There we go. The Moving Hot Tub, and sponsored by the First Responders. Weeblos Racing, and hometown of China, it's hot in here. That was Connor, the Cloud Jumper. Thank you, Mr. Sean. And we also had James. We'll try to find James as well. And it's amazing, yet another one of our international racers uh, seemingly blocked out from social media there. As you notice, we weren't able to get his profile up initially. <laughs> We're fairly certain he may have been banned by Twitter. It is uh, But, you know, the Chinese racers, it's very tough to get them cleared to be able to race here with Pac-2 Racing. Indeed, we do have very stringent requirements here. Uh, we want uh, committed racers, and we want a fair race. High standards here. High standards of integrity and competition at the Pac-2 Raceway. Mr. Eric. And we got Mr. Barry. He says, Mr. Sean gets a definite double A+. Plus. Indeed. So congratulations. Indeed. Mr. So Sean doing an excellent job. I think by that job. he means you get to earn an extra hour a week. It, it really is truly amazing what you can get done in just one hour a week. When and, you... and Mr. Joe is sending his regard, his love as well. He's, he's enjoying the show. Thank you, Mr. Joe. We're happy to please. And it looks like we're getting ready for the next race here. We have lane one, we have James, the speedster with his Porsche. And we have in lane three, Nathan, the T-Flame car. And lane four, Caleb with the mint ice cream. And we've, we've had a we have a request on our chat to see if we can run the bios one more time just for some, uh, some late yeah, viewers that want to be able to yeah. see it. So, yes, we are able to do that for you, Mrs. Cutting. We have James in lane one, and then uh, lane two is vacant. We have Nathan in lane three, and Caleb. There is some controversy with Caleb's car.
car, although it's the mint ice cream car. There's a lot of people out here today that are saying it's actually pistachio. So we'll have to look in on that later. Here's Nathan <laughs> engine number two again, flame car. And uh, like you said, my car can go fast, my car can go slow. It seemed to be going pretty fast today, so that's a good thing. I would say so, Mr. Eric. It's not called the flame car for nothing. And again, he built. he's known for builds... His builds are the outcome of creative chaos mixed with a dash of coolness and flames, and you can see the flames are quite apparent. That is an excellent description. Caleb moving up Martin, ready to take on the competition in his final Cub, Cub Scout Derby. With the mint ice cream cone, sponsored by Battle Cats. And here he is, folks. He's a little zoomed in right now on James the Speedster. <laughs> We can uh, we can go back to that uh, last race. I believe that's our second car today that's um, sponsored by Team Battle Cats. And I think okay. we are ready for the race. We're ready for the race. The we cars are there. One camera, but that's okay. Can still see the other results. And here they are, folks. In three, two. One. They are off. And oh, we my goodness. took it with a little bit of a topple. And again, we have our experts from Troop 16. They're going to help make any Ooh, necessary excellent. repairs. So James it looks Fairley, like it was James, congratulations. Speedster. Well done, James. And second place was Nathan. Third place, Caleb. So many of our racers submitted cars that had their own wheels on it. But you can see we've had the official wheels to make sure that our integrity is upheld. <laughs> and then nobody has motorized wheels by accident. That uh, makes a difference. And it came in first with the official wheels. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Dan. Definitely. All right. Good to see the speedster on that one taking, taking first place. So we're going to be setting up uh, for race number two. We're going to veto on lane two. Ben in lane three, and Joseph in lane four. Lane uh -huh. one will be vacant. So I, I I can't quite tell if it looks like the lane conditions are are are, are comparable. I don't see any advantage to being in one lane over the other. But again, each car goes and races in the lane once, so it all evens out. Even if that was the case. That's right, Mr. Eric. Yes. And Vito Beast King Ginther, there he is again from Wolf Force Racing. Sponsored by the Mystic River Marina. Which I'm told was his great-grandfather's business. Is Indeed. that what I'm told? That's correct. Excellent. A, fam a family affair here. And Ben Jetpack Kushner. Animal Rescue. Sponsored by Harambe Traders. And like a true lion, here engines roar! <laughs> ben also likes to play the cello. Joseph Brickmaster Arsenal. Get, trying to, he's hungry to make a name for himself. This is his first... Uh, race at the pack two raceway speaking of hungry he was uh, sponsored by applebee's if i saw that correctly. he was well, i could certainly go for uh, some applebee's mr Eric. absolutely some delicious tenders well uh well perhaps an oreo cookie if uh <laughs> if there are any left but i, I wouldn't count on that i don't know oh, there, went, nope. there may be some left but not after this <laughs> Mr. Matt, he's not fooling anyone. We know nope. he's after those Oreo cookies. We will make a final adjustment here. The racers are ready. They are raring to go. And here we are, folks. I think we're ready to start this one. We have the countdown, but... Are we ready? And we are ready. There they go. Oh, and my it's goodness. It's a close race oh, between looks like lanes two and three. The mysterious plane may have taken that one. It looks like it may have been a... Trying to see the replay here. Let's see the replay. That was quite the exciting race. Oh, my goodness. It looked like there were some, some position changes in there. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like lane two may have just taken it. And, yep, and this confirms there it. There he Vito. is, Vito with a win, the mysterious plane. Followed by Ben and then Joseph. And Joseph. And we'd like to remind everybody, Blue and Gold is coming up, the Blue and Gold Banquet. That's right. And we're in the process of trying to plan that. 
when our Arrow of Light Scouts cross over to become Boy Scouts. And everyone gets virtual spaghetti. Virtual <laughs> spaghetti. More on that to follow. And getting ready for our next race here, we have Tynan in lane one with the Unfortified Fortress. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that name. Lane two is Riley B. Lane three is Liam. And lane four, Oliver. And there he is, folks, Tynan the Terrible. Oh. Sponsored by the KGB. My goodness. <laughs> this is very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> and Riley, Ry Ry Ballister. Christmas Racing. I, uh, I'm a big fan of that car as well. I enjoy Santa on there. It looks like there's a bit of a tree. We've got a Lightning Liam Dosher. And Riding Bolt, sponsored by Minecraft. Oh, and this is the watermelon pizza. I have to talk to Liam about that because that's something I'm and curious Oliver about. And Oliver Twist, uh, interesting move going with the trike. But again, our our rule state: you got to have our our sanctioned wheels. So we had to put on our our sanctioned wheels. That's right. And it's sponsored by Twizzlers. Oliver is. Who doesn't love Twizzlers? Twizzlers are good, but I must admit, I'm more of a Red Vines man myself. Well, everybody's entitled to their opinion, <laughs> Mr. Eric. I enjoy both. And here we go, folks. And they, oh my they goodness. did go, but it looks like the camera at the bottom didn't exactly capture it. But we do have results. So we may have to take another uh, look at that They did finish one, the but... race, and it looks like Liam was ahead on that race, followed by Riley, Oliver, and then Tynan. So it's... They did finish that race, folks. The camera I, didn't quite I gotta that I got to say, it, it's a little coincidental that the, that the Russian racer, it malfunctions when the Russian racer is in. <laughs> There's a little bit of a coincidence there, I think. <laughs> Those Russians don't mess around. <laughs> okay. So we're uh, setting up for the next, the next race where we got Landon in lane one with the pool rocket. We uh, got Paige in lane two, Andrew Kitchen in lane three, and Owen in lane four. And I, I'm I'm excited to see Andrew's car. I, I like the uh, the chicken. Uh, well, the chicken mobile has chicken uh, mobile. stayed strong. That egg has stayed on there. I thought for sure he might lose it, but uh, absolutely. There we go. Here's the bios again. Landon Lightning to Skillo. He is a veteran, coolest looking in the Pinewood Derby last year. He uh, he's no. Known for building in the moment, and I actually learned on this build, it actually was going to start as a police car and ended up turning into a pool. So he, he's not shy to take an inspirational detour. Oh, I definitely appreciate that. That is that is excellent. Andrew 178 Chicken Hatcher. Sponsored by Hova Bader. Andrew's going to scramble the competition. Indeed. Age 178 years old. Got to hand it to Andrew for competing consistently. Owen the Milkman Martin. Gamersville, Illinois. Milkman Express. On race day, the milkman always delivers. When he's not chugging milk, he's burning up the track. <laughs> there you go. You know what goes good with milk? Oreo cookies. Indeed. Indeed. And I think we are ready for the next race here. In three, two, one. And they're off. And the camera's back oh, up and the running. Camera we have a little bit of an explosion. We are rewarded with an explosive finish. In lane one. So it looks like the uh, the pool rocket. A pool a little, rocket. A little it. too fast. Woo. How did the so pool rocket fare? It looks like it, uh, it finished fared, that race intact. It fared okay. It looks like just a minor repair. But uh, Landon. And it is, folks. In lane one with pool rocket with the win. Paige coming in second. Andrew with the chicken mobile in third. So I, I'm always proud of my scouts, of course, but I, I'm, you know, I'm very happy to see the, the, the Wolf Force Racing team doing so well today. The Wolf Force is putting in a strong <laughs> performance, as is the Weeblos Racing, as are all the Dents. So as far as uh, the chat goes, it looks like, yep, somebody is saying that there's collusion with oh, the uh, with the cameras yes. and the and the and, and the Russian. Uh, <laughs> The Russian car, folks. We we were uh, and I we apologize. This. I apologize if I lose uh, lose chat. It looks like there's limited battery life on our on our <laughs> device here, so I apologize if I don't get to your messages going forward. But 
you know, we have that number, 401-824-4566, if you want to call in. Again, 401-824-4566. We'd love to hear from you. That's, yes, we do. Getting ready for the next race, we have Super Cooper, Ballister, Tiger Den Racing, sponsored by Waffles. Billy Bob Bo from the Bear Den Racing, sponsor, Pack Wild from Memeville, New York. At age eight, Billy Bob's been racing for over 20 years. And his quote, my car just broke the internet. Oh, sounds like we have a caller. And another call here as we have Natalie Unicorn Martin, AOL Racing, sponsored by Roblox. Did you know that unicorns are really, really fast? <laughs> All right, we I have did a call that. in from uh, the interwebs from uh, a Smith family. Yeah, in the Smith family. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for calling in. We hope you're enjoying the race. Which car is yours? So which car do you have? Um, is it? I have, I have uh, it didn't get a title. Uh, it's just the Logan Smith car. Okay. Oh, are, are you, Logan. Are Logan. you happy with its performance so far? I'm and the moving hot tub. The moving hot tub. Excellent. I was going to say, I thought that your car had done pretty well, Logan. Yeah, it is. It looks like I we think are we're ready for the go. next race. So, Logan, feel free to stay on as we view. Three, two, one, and they are off. Oh, my oh. goodness. Did Mr. Keith take that one? Quite the finish. It looks, it looks like it. It looks like, yes, Mr. Keith. So Smith family, what is your uh, prediction for the race here? Who do you think is going to win the grand championship of the Pac-2 race today? Me. <laughs> do you hail from U.S. or Russia? That's what I want to know. <laughs> And we're getting ready for our next race here. Mr. Matt wins. Mr. Matt. Mr. Matt wants to finish so up. So, so he can finish up and get to the Oreo cookies. You know, I hear his car might actually be weighted down with some Oreo cookies. I think that might be uh, part of his success. We'll have to investigate if necessary. <laughs> and we have the next race with Jackson the Brick from Weeblos Racing, sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. The Brick is heavier than the Titanic. Hailing from Denmark, one of the happiest nations in the world. I've heard that, Mr. Eric. Connor Eskimo Martin. Don't let the warm and cozy appearance fool you. His heart is cold as ice in competition. He's Woo! riding King Pig. Ice water through his veins. Aiden Dump Truck O'Neill. Polar B-150. Another Russian connection here. What has four wheels and flies? He does. <laughs> and Miles Speedy Roy. From Weeblos Racing, number 98, hails from Vermont, the speediest speedster that ever speeded. Smith family, what's your prediction for this race? I think it's going to be a very close race, but I think Connor M. King will take the lead. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have. Well, we'll see. I think the racers are ready. And here we I are, hope folks. You guys are having as much fun as we are watching you guys. <laughs> oh, we're so glad to hear that. Oh. Thank you. I have a feeling it's more fun to view us than being in our positions right now. <laughs> All right, so on the phone now is Mrs. Laureen Smith. She is uh, our advancement chair, and we depend on her to make sure that all our scouts make all of their advancement, including all the required adventures and rank. Without her, our scouts wouldn't have all the fancy badges on their shirts. That's right. She does an excellent job of coordinating, procuring the awards, and getting them to our scouts. So thank you very much, Ms. Smith. You're quite welcome. And I think we're ready for our next race. Three, two, one. And they're off. Oh, Whoa, and another close race. finish. My goodness. Was that lane one? Oh my goodness. Let's see. We'll this the, race uh, did not here. disappoint. The replay. It looks like lane one may have taken it, it but just by a hair. Too. Oh, and it was Jackson with the Ford Mustang. The brick. Uh, wow, followed by Connor. Uh, 
open up the line for uh, all right all right well smith we appreciate family. the call smith family thank you very much for calling in and we're glad you're having fun and uh yes we are thank you excellent <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, I've I've been uh, I've been informed on the chat by the Russian driver. Everything is fine. You can trust us. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are no problems at Pack Two Raceway. <laughs> at Pack Two Raceway, car drives you. <laughs> and here we are, Mason, racing, Mason. We blows racing. Sponsored by Fun, hometown is Earth, and the age is mysterious, a question mm. mark. And Enzo, Hank, there he is with the delivery truck. I wonder what he has in there. Perhaps some Oreo cookies. Mr. Matt would sniff those out if he did. And uh, he's going to want to make everybody stop and eat. Oh, and there oh. it is. Mr. Motormouth Matt. It looks like he's got a little bit of Oreo in his teeth in the picture. <laughs> he's got the Oreo cookie cutter. Lean yeah, four. That picture is actually from the Academy, where uh, West Point. Oreos that's right. Have been uh, contraband. Oh, Mr. Matt, uh, we want to thank Mr. Matt for his service. A graduate of West Point. Very, absolutely worth noting, Mr. Matt. Thank you. All right, fallen. And, he, <laughs> and, and he may actually have a legacy. His daughter may also be going there. That is very impressive. That is excellent. So a proud military family. That's right. And here we are. Three, two, one. Ooh, another wow. close one in lane two and that three. Was, I think three, perhaps. Lane three had so much momentum, it started going backwards. I think we might add a little bit of an explosion at the end there. Oh, well, not too bad. That was a fast race, mister. It was Get, very fast. That we're seemed gonna, like a fast race. We're going to go. Oh, it looks like, yep, it did. Lane three, Logan took Logan, it by a nose. Oh, Logan was just on the phone. Followed Excellent very job. closely by Enzo in the delivery truck. And the delivery so, truck delivers again with I, a strong second place finish. I think if the delivery truck didn't make, it, make its last load, it may have had more weight and may have actually been able to make it. That's true. That's true. And here we are, ready for the next race. Andrew Martin, lane one. We got Ben Wogelmuth, lane two. We got Mr. Eric, lane three. Oh, and he's Jackson. Back. Oh, we got two brothers on this race, lanes two and four. So that'll be oh, that's interesting right. to see. Ben Dubs. So I'm looking. It's all coming in there. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Yep, put her live, straight away to the internet. Oh, and here we are. We have Gigi. Hi. You guys are doing awesome. Oh, well, thank you very much. That. You're enjoying the race today? We are very much enjoying the race today. I've got Pete here watching along, and you've got my other two over there helping out. Now, do you have a favorite for this race? Uh, for this particular race, I'm going to go with uh, Andrew Martin. All Godson. right. That one. Oh, and no I kidding. To, you know, I have got more Oreo cookies over here. You should run out. Oh, that, that's very helpful because right. we can't seem to find where Mr. Matt put his. I, yeah, I think we're about uh, we're about out here, and uh, we might have to make arrangements so that we can get some without Mr. Matt knowing. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Mrs. Roy is inviting us over for an après race party. <laughs> 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 oh, and you see the bios up on the screen here. We have Jackson Nuggethead Wolgamith. Allusion to chicken nuggets, perhaps. I'm a big fan of those. Those are popular in my house. So it looks like they are lined up and ready to go. Start your engines! And the racers are ready. And the countdown. Three, two, one. Off. Oh. Uh, oh, we lost my the camera, goodness. so I'm not sure who... You see the aftermath of the race We're going to see the results, but I do they see that there's a little bit of explosions going on. So oh. it looks like Ben. In the sibling race there, Ben. Ben, in lane two, took took it, followed by my car, Squatch like Me Scout. Squatch Me Scouts with the camping uh, the camping scene on that car, Mr. Eric. Well, I, I, do I like will say, I was, I was a little leery about putting the tree on, and it's, it, my suspicions were proven to be correct, as I believe that it fell off. 
<laughs> so they'll, they'll have to make a quick repair. But Sasquatch is holding on quite well as long as as well as the Scout minifigure. Indeed. In the Roy family, uh, what is your uh, prediction for the the grand champion of the race? Who do you like? Oh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, my pack two favorite, Miles Roy. Oh, okay. Miles, he's a speedster. A he's uh he's had a good race so far. We're gonna be setting up for the next race. We got Connor in lane one, Jack in lane two. Oh, let's just go to their bios. Here's Connor, the cloud jumper. Cloud jumper. Weeblows Racing, sponsored by the first responders. It's hot in here, <laughs> in the moving <laughs> hot tub. And uh, we want to thank Mr. Dan and Mr. Sean for those uh, excellent turntable videos that we got, really showcasing got the cars. Jack Kushner, one of our sibling competitors, with the boat shell. The boat shell, an interesting design, which has proven to be uh, quite effective today. Absolutely. And we got Wesley oh, Bricklayer Bilodeau, another favorite, with the uh, the A Team brick van. Again, sponsored by Ray Willis Toys and Remy Cycle for all your Lego brick needs. Head on down to Ray Willis Toys. Excellent, love Ray Willis. Some of the uh, carnage. From so, the so we have a little oh bit goodness. of uh, casualty damage that uh, we're going to reserve and set aside. It's part of the game here at the Pack Two Raceway. There's going to be a little bit of damage. Going to be explosions. It's part of the fun. And we got Noah in lane four. So, so in this race. Jack and Wesley both set records in the first half, so it'll be nice to see them go head to head. Unbelievable record setting day here at the Pac 2 Raceway. Look at this, we have some different colored Legos here. We got some, uh, we got pinks, and oh, it looks like we got the front of a shark here. I think that might have been from Paige's car. Yep. Uh, so, yep. Very nice. We're going to do our best to uh, get all the pieces back to their rightful owners. <laughs> Absolutely. But it hasn't been uh, too appreciate everyone who's helping out here today. Shall we open up the lines for the next caller? Sure thing. Thank, thank you for calling in, Mrs. Thank, Roy. Thank you very much for calling in. Glad you're enjoying the race. Well, looks like we have a little bit of a malfunction. On that one camera. On one camera, but we're still ready to go. Uh, if I could, before we go to our next caller, just want to remind everybody that's calling in today that uh, when you do call in, you are live to our stream. Uh, Rhode Island is a two-party state, so if you're calling in, you will be broadcast live. <laughs> <laughs> and also, when you call in, you can enter to win the Pac-2 Service Commitment of the Year, where you... Just by calling in, may commit to only one hour a week with Pack 2. <laughs> it's the best one hour a week. That I, best one hour a week for me, that's for sure. That's true, Mr. Eric. I certainly get a lot out of my time that I spend at Pack 2. And the racers are off again. Oh, it's Whoa, another my tight goodness. race. Somebody may have gone fully off the table on that one. It's another tight race. It looks like it was a. Uh, we got to get a. Uh, Eric is back on the A-team van. Oh my goodness, I, I can't. Like Noah Roy has flipped so, his car on every race. That might have been too close to call. Oh, but it, it looks like it looks was like Connor. Looks like an upset. Connor with the hot tub. Wait a minute, didn't register. Oh, it looks like we they didn't. Look, we're going to have to rerun because the results oh. did not register. That was an intense was, race, I was going to say, that was a strange upset because it looked like uh, Jack and Wes were neck and neck, and then all of a sudden. Oh, they, might have, they might have actually knocked the connection out. Oh. My goodness, the passion I, I, of these racers think, here today. I think these cars may have actually knocked the connection. That I, is, I think that's a first here on the raceway. I have to say, Mr. Eric, I'm not familiar with that ever happening right, we're before. Ready to try again. We're going to have to run that race again, so folks. The racers were just simply going too hard. We've got to say, at Pack 2, we, we go hard. We have lots of fun. <laughs> We have lots of enthusiasm in all our activities, so we want to encourage, you know, so we're always encouraging siblings and friends to join up. The more, the merrier. We have a lot of activities. We try to go. Siblings are always welcome. They're always welcome. We have our derbies, the Brick Derby and the Pinewood Derby. We have uh, summer activities as well. We've done the bike rodeo. We like to do several hikes a year. Always something going on with Pack 2. Absolutely. I believe we're almost ready for the next race. 
Yep, a repeat of the current pass race because it didn't register before. That's right. And three, two, one, here they go. Oh, my another goodness, close shaking race. the cameras. It looks like all of them just, it was a neck and neck race. It looks like lane three might have had it. Wow. And if so, then it was just neck and neck. Ooh, oh, my goodness. My goodness, that it was almost like the too close. Yep, Wesley just took he it. He did, Wes. Lost the spoiler, but we'll get that back on there. And carnage. And there it is, folks. So it Wes, here is your spoiler. I'll be sure to bring that home. Now, Wes, right in my pocket. Wes had a, a strong performance last year in the Brick Derby as well with the uh, it was a armored Winnebago. We called it the armored Winnebago. It was kind of a mix between a, a an RV and a tank. Yep. We have had some heavy main armament on there, a camouflage it, it color was, scheme. It was supposed to be a tank, but it sort of had the shape of an old Winnebago. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was going to go out uh, roughing it, boondocking in my RV, I'd probably <laughs> want that extra security as well. I heard the Pentagon actually reached out to them afterwards to use that as a design for their new urban assault vehicle. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Great things happen and come out of pack <laughs> two here. <laughs> Bunch of innovators here. We'll add that to our impressive resume for our scouts. So that was that was a very exciting, probably the most exciting race so far. They all pretty much were neck and neck. Oh, you could see the, the, the passion and the, the intensity of that race. The camera shook <laughs> as they finished. My goodness. So we're going to be setting up for the next race. I'm not sure exactly who is there, but... I'd like to take we... the opportunity to mention uh, another one of our proud sponsors here today. Uh... Part of a list of proud sponsors. The Mojave Desert Water Polo League. Ah, uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things have happened, great things that have happened for them in the pool this year. Uh, really a bounce back from last year's sandstorm where, I mean, it, they were just quagmired in the mud. I remember yeah, hearing about that, Mr. Matt. The pool turned to quicksand. Well, quick. Right yeah, but they've been in quite a drought out there in the Mojave uh, in terms of wind, so we're really hoping to pull them out this season and uh you know maybe they'll fall into a rainfall event <laughs> the dedication of a desert water polo league is, is has to be commended and again our, our chat is running low so I, I can't exactly see some of the chats but we do have the number you can call into 401-824-4566 feel free to call in and we really encourage and appreciate the uh audience participation here today this is your brick derby you know, it's too bad we can't be here in person, but we are having a lot of fun. Absolutely. We appreciate you joining us. Maybe you put those, uh, we, we don't see the cars. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, give us a minute here while we get ready for the next race. And so, here we go. Joseph, lane one. James, lane two. Oliver, lane three. And no one in lane four. All right. James the uh, was the speedster here. And uh, I believe he hailed from uh, Mountain Dew. Oh, I hear it's nice this time of year. Oh, that, that just sounds refreshing, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> I think we might need to reset there, Mr. Sean. We've got a lot of uh, do not finishes there. And you get a little glimpse here of the uh, behind the scenes that Mr. Sean is handling, doing, a, <laughs> doing an excellent job getting everything running, running smoothly and... Uh, we're having a great race here today. Absolutely. Ready? And here we are, folks, in heat four. The cars are ready, and let's race. The countdown, three, two, one. Here they go. Oh, it's a... Oh my goodness, folks! You got the side view. We didn't get the top view, but the side view—they were—they were close on that one. Look at that! Very nice. Woo, my goodness! So the four-wheel trike—it looks like the four-wheel trike took it. Did the trike take it on? Oh my goodness! <laughs> and he did, folks. Oliver. Oliver. Congratulations, James in second and Joseph in third. First rate first race of heat number four so we're nearing the end of this oh and the mint ice cream a little bit of controversy that it may actually be pistachio i heard absolutely but uh both are uh, good flavors I've, I've come to be a bigger fan of the mint as i've gotten older we got page lane three nathan lane four and again the prize that 
we're, that they're competing for is this wonderful Lego trophy. Are we gonna give that trophy a name? I think uh, I think we were gonna call it the Brick Cup. The Brick Cup. This so, apropos. And I, we'll keep it open just to, to, to get all our racers salivating over it. And um, if I recall, uh, Mr. Eric, there was uh, a bit of a challenge that you undertook. Oh yes. Recently. Absolutely. Let's cut to that. That was uh, that was a, that was an experience. And uh, Pack Two and Pack Two Racing presents Stupid Stunts. I'm Mr. Eric, the Wolf Den leader. I am in the chapel in the pines at Dunn's Corners Community Church. And for your entertainment, I'm going to be doing a fire breathing Lego walk. Why is it fire breathing? I'm gonna drink a healthy dose of hot sauce. I have to walk across the Lego track barefoot three times. On my second and third passes, my assistant Wes will be attacking me with an ax and some arrows. So enjoy. Bottoms up. Oh, that's hot. Oh, Mr. Eric, wow, that was quite impressive. Yep, it, it was, <laughs> that was done a week ago, and I'm still tasting the hot sauce. Yes, that was real hot sauce. And folks, it is confirmed that that was real hot sauce. Mr. Eric doesn't hold back. Oh, my goodness. Anything for the children. And I actually have an idea for the, for the pine wood. I might do a similar challenge. And here we are, folks. They are ready. And they're off. Oh, it looks mint like the ice mint cream ice cream took it. that one. That was a clear victory there, but a good race nonetheless. I, I keep wanting to call it pistachio ice cream. And it looks like lane four. Clear victory there by Caleb. The flame car in uh, second place, and third place was Paige. Followed by Nathan. My car can go fast, my car can go slow. It went a little slow on that one, unfortunately, but it's still a valiant effort you know that's a good attitude though you know hey my car, car can go fast my car can go so <laughs> what, what are you gonna do whatever it wants to do anything that's, on race day that's right you gotta roll with it <laughs> and our next race the lineup lane one riley lane two tying in the terrible lane three is miles and lane four ben k now i don't want to alarm anyone but we do seem to have some camera malfunctions when Tynan, when Tynan is uh, competing, and I don't know if it's from Motherland Russia. That Russian uh, connection has been a theme consistently running through our uh, our event here today, and uh, I have a feeling we'll be hearing about this one for a while, M Mr. Mis Eric. Mr. Sean is checking. He's, he wants to Putin an end to it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Matt here pops up again. The Oreo cookies. I think we're uh, we got to be just about out now. Right? He might have his own stash. <laughs> we might see uh, Vladimir Putin ride through shirtless as well. And we'll keep an eye out for that. And the racers are lined up, and I think we are ready, folks. Three, two, one. They're off, and they go. Oh, and it's a clear victory My right goodness. there. Lane three. A clear victory on that one. That was Miles in lane three. Excellent job, Miles. Excellent job. And 
Interf and just to add insult to injury, goes into lane two just to give him a little love tap. <laughs> so Miles <laughs> came in first place, Riley in second, Tynan in third, and Ben in fourth. So no no interference on that race. No, that was a clean race. Thank you, Mr. Sean, for... And who is this calling in? Oh, I believe we have another caller as we get ready for the next race. And we got Andrew Kitchen. Andrew Kitchen calling and there in. There he is, Andrew with the chicken mobile. And well, how are you happy with with your performance so far? Yeah. Now, what what uh, what do you think, Andrew? You think we're having a good race here today? Yeah. Oh, I agree. The chicken mobile has been doing pretty well. The egg has uh, stayed on there. You might say that it's excellent. <laughs> I will say that, Mr. Eric. I like that. I can always appreciate a good pun. So, Andrew, what's your prediction for this next race here? In lane one, we have Bo with the meme machine. Lane two, Aiden with the Polar B-150. Lane three is Mr. Matt with those Oreo cookies. And lane four, Vito with the mysterious plane. Who do you think is going to take this one, Andrew? Oh my Matt. goodness! Oh wow! A confident prediction from Andrew. Like Fifteen times on the screen, so. <laughs> well, I'll say, it, you built a very sturdy vehicle with that chicken mobile. It, it definitely that egg is not cracked under pressure. No, no, very impressive. And here we are, folks, ready for the race. They're lined up, and here we go. And they're off. Oh, my goodness, a bit of a spectacular finish. Lane 3 took it. Lane 3 took it. And who was that in lane 3 again? I think again? I saw a little interference where it looks like Mr. Matt's car was throwing Oreos at the track next to him. Oh, we got a little bit of Lego debris. Woo, lane 3 came in hot on that one, folks. And it was Mr. Matt. Oh, Mr. good prediction, Matt. Andrew. I think you know you're racing. Mr. Matt and the Oreo cookie followed by Aiden. Lane uh, third place was Bo and the Mysterious Plane. So it looks like uh, f father beats son in that race. So Mr. Matt has some bragging rights. At bragging home. rights in the O'Neill household. <laughs> I think Aiden might want a rematch of that race. <laughs> Again, I, I could have sworn I saw Oreo cookies getting thrown at Aiden's car. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, oh and there oh, he is again. Speak, speaking of Oreo cookies. <laughs> and Andrew, here you are. You're in lane four of this race with the chicken mobile. Lane one is Liam, lane two is Mason, and lane three is Connor. As you can see, he's oh, twisting the top and licking it in the middle, and then... Oh, enjoy nom, 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 He nom, starts nom, off nom. very slowly, but then it, by the end, he can barely contain his enjoyment. Mr. Matt like cookie very much. <laughs> so, so in the next race, we got Liam in lane one, Race and Mason lane two, Connor lane three, and Andrew, you're on the phone. Chicken Mobile is in lane four. I think we know Andrew's prediction for this race. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's see if he are. scrambles the competition. And in three, two, one. And they're off, folks. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. It looked like lane two. Looks like lane two may have taken it. A good effort by the Chicken Mobile, but Andrew is on the phone with us right now. Just Very didn't good. hatch for you today, Andrew. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dan. <laughs> you know what, though, Andrew? That race was excellent. Excellent, excellent. indeed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you notice again, Mr. Uh, Mr. Eric, neck and neck down the initial uh, decline there, but then it's the straightaway where they really start to separate. Absolutely. And... Our next race, lane one, Owen the Milkman. Lane two, Jackson with the Ford Mustang. And the other Jackson, uh, Jackson Nuggethead. W. Nuggethead, I believe. Jackson Wolgameth. And lane four, Cooper B. Andrew, who do you like for this race? Um, probably uh, Jackson Pantera. All right. All right. Rooting for his Mustang. That has been pretty speedy today. Yes, it is. His fellow Weeblos team racing member. I'll say all, 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 all Dens brought their A game today. Indeed. Indeed. I am thoroughly impressed and pleased with the race today, with the performance of all our racers. And here we go.
Yeah, yeah they're off, excellent folks. Excellent fair. Lane three took Lane it. Lane three takes that one. Well, Andrew, we appreciate you joining us. I think we're going to open the lines just in case anybody else wants to call in. Again, that number is 401-824-4566. Excellent job, Andrew. Four Glad zero, you're enjoying the race. 401-824-4566. Feel free to call in. We'd love to hear from you. Mr. Keith, the mics are not hot, right? My bookie's calling. He says this is our last chance to get in our bed. Ah, oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Earmuffs, Mr. Barry and Mr. Joe. So we got that Russian connection and uh, now there may be other connections as well. <laughs> I think we'll be uh, rehashing this race for a while to come. <laughs> Hacking it as it were. Oh. And here we are for our next race. We got Natalie in lane one, Andrew Martin lane two, Enzo lane three, and Landon in lane four. Oh, so we have the pool rocket versus the delivery truck. Uh, I'm excited to see. I think uh, this is going to be another competitive one because Natalie, Enzo, and Landon have all had some pretty good races. Indeed. And Andrew. So, Indeed. Strong performances uh, all around today at the Pac-2 Raceway. I'm expecting a close one. We'll see. <laughs> and we're ready. Three, two, one. Oh, what and like I predicted, a close what race. What a race, my goodness. That was exciting. Let's see that replay. Like I said, they were all doing very well today. That is hard to and, tell. And I am not sure who. Oh, it looks like Landon. The pool, the pool rocket. Oh, followed closely by the delivery truck. Oh, my goodness. And Natalie in third. Again, I think the delivery truck made a little bit too many, made one too many deliveries before coming here. And Natalie and Andrew actually tied on that one, Mr. Sean? Is that what we. Oh my goodness. That is impressive. I don't we don't see that too often that, here at the Pac-2 race. That is a rarity. Oh, that is <laughs> gonna keep going. Stoking the flames of that sibling so rivalry they're, right there. They're gonna have to do some rocks, paper, scissors to see who wins that one. I think they might have to. Or we can do another race. Or another or race. Another race. <laughs> we we can suggested. do an unsanctioned race. <laughs> and here we are, they're the next race. So we got Logan in lane one, Connor in lane two. Speaking of the sibling rivalries. Ben in lane three, and Mr. Keith in oh, lane four. The snack attack in lane four. We are now experiencing some technical difficulties. Please bear with us while the Pac-2 leadership addresses these technical difficulties. While you're waiting, enjoy a nice dance. Oh, and we're back. I'll tell you that that bear from the Jersey Shore always gets my fist pumping. I, when I see that bear going, I can barely, I can barely, <laughs> barely contain, contain myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're silly here, folks. And it looks like we are almost ready for the next race. Oh, I believe the snack attack fell to pieces before could, it could get on the race. You could also say that uh, getting caught off guard watching us dance, it might have been a little embarrassing. <laughs> sprung a leak. Can't explain. Oh dear. Stop stripping on the track. <laughs> well, I think I know who may be responsible for that. I believe that uh, Vito the Beast King was experimenting with uh, the snack attack with and the buoyancy seeing, with the buoyancy in the tub shortly before I came to the raceway today. <laughs> I noticed that the uh, car was wet. Yeah, when... It smells a little bit like shampoo, actually. Well, we know it's the nice and clean then, at least. Well, I will say, I, that's one thing I love about Vito. He's very inquisitive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. Ooh, another Woo! close one. That looked like... It looks like lane one took lane it. Lane one took it. Let's see. I'll have to see the replay. 
Oh, it did. Lane three was coming pretty strong, but I think lane one, this, that was Logan. That was a close one. Woo. Logan is a veteran racer. He's got a few brick derbies under his belt, and it shows again with a first place finish. Again, scouts are not disappointing with their, with their vehicles. Two heats left here today, folks, at the Prac 2 Raceway in our Brick Derby. And I got to say, it has been a thrilling ride the whole way. So we, for the next race, so the second to last race, we're nearing the end of this. We have Noah in lane one. We got Wesley in lane two. Jack in lane three. And my car, Mr. Eric, Mr. Eric the Squatch, lane four. And again, we got Jack and Wesley Compete both both that uh, broke records today, and they're competing again. So an impressive day so far. The last time they faced each other, Wesley came on top. So we'll see if uh, if that if that trend continues, or Jack may pull it pull through. And and we have a little bit of uh, audience participation here. Vito uh, wants to know if Mr. Eric will do a pine cone walk challenge for the Pinewood <laughs> Derby. That's an appropriate challenge. That is, I will, I will give it some thought. I will say I was going to stick with the Lego theme again. I had another idea <laughs> of sort of doing a, a life-size minesweeper, but uh, with, oh. with Lego, and I would be blindfolded, so I would be uh, have to have to cross and uh, hopefully not, not hit any of the Lego squares, but we'll see. <laughs> Send in your ideas. I'm willing to do some well, challenges like for your entertainment. We want to always keep it fun and interesting. And here we are, they're ready, folks. Three, two, one. Ooh, another My close goodness. one. My goodness, was and that? I can't tell because the... I think somebody went off the track on that one and even off the table. Again, another close race by, by Jack and Wesley. Jack and neck Wesley. Neck and neck. Both contenders And Wesley for the title. came through again, just oh, barely. Did. My goodness. So congratulations, Wes. You, you won another race. Follow... Well done. Oh, I guess I snuck by. Squatch meet scouts. Sleepy second. And uh, folks, uh, Vito also chimed in to say that uh, Mr. Keith's snack attack mobile. Uh, the Lego cars tend to not be very buoyant. <laughs> Sometimes even the Lego boats aren't really that buoyant when they're designed. For absolutely. They absolutely. tend to be a little top heavy. All and right. we have some Weeblos movie clips. The Weeblos worked on their movie making adventure. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. That Excellent. was uh, and the kitchen, if I recall. That was from Andrew with the chicken mobile, and I believe that was a little bit of a showcase, maybe of an early car design there. Excellent, Andrew. With a space theme. And I believe they're working on a on an adventure. This is one of their adventures this that they're the, working on. This is the movie making adventure, and now we have Tynan's movie.
Hey Wallace. Uh. Hey Egg Eeyore. Hey Fire Dog. Hey Winston. Hey Humphy. Hey Giraffe Doodle. Hey Santa Claus. Hey Little Sheep. Hey Timber. Hey East Joe. Kenzie, I got one. Hey Vito. And we got oh one more goodness, video loading, folks. but we want to give a special shout out to Andrew Tynan and, and Enzo for the fantastic videos. Excellent work. Enzo's video, the theme uh, for our, <clears throat> our adventure was to make a video about yourself uh, living out the scout law. So Enzo's was, theme was friendly for both of those videos. And uh, Andrew and Tynan both did an excellent job as well. Really enjoyed those videos. I will say though, Tynan, the Russian competitor, I noticed in his movie, it said Red Puddle. I hope that's not code for something. Oh, it could be. In light of recent developments at our race, I see that video in a new way. <laughs> but you can tell he put a lot of work into that one. Absolutely. Excellent job, Tynan. They all did very well. My name is Jackson Pantera and this is my car. It has cool features like headlights, taillights, and engine on top. This is my car. And that was by Jackson Pantera showing how hard it can be to parallel park. I like that one. It was <laughs> kind of like he was maneuvering on some ice too, maybe. <laughs> the different camera angles in there. And I... I think uh, the Weeblos had a lot of fun putting those movies together. Very good. Yes, well deserved when you get that adventure completed. Those were well done. I, I enjoyed those. Great job, Weeblos. Something to look forward to for my den. So right now we are tabulating the results from uh, today's races. And I got to say, you know, looking back, Mr. Eric, I think this is going to be a uh, derby to be remembered. From the Oreo cookies to the... Uh, the Russian uh, connection <laughs> to some intense races with some spectacular finishes. Absolutely. Not as much devastation as we're used to, but that, <laughs> at, at the end, which is good. Which is good. We, we didn't have the we, scouts we, here to repair their cars. We need to return these pieces, so we want to make sure we get them to the right people. Uh, but, yeah, they, they all came to, to race, and they performed excellently. No, carrying on in the Pack 2 spirit, you know, we're having a lot of fun. We've had uh, people call in, can tell they're enjoying it at home. And Any last minute call ins to guess who uh, might be the overall winner here? Yeah, we'll read the number again. This is 401 824 4566. That's 401 824 4566. I thought it was a 1900. Oh, we do have a caller. It looks like it's. It's coming from uh, the Ginther household. Uh, hello. hello. So What's the final count of Oreos today? The <laughs> final count of Oreos. That's Enzo. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mr. Matt, do you have any idea? Um, well, I can honestly say that today, not a single Oreo was harmed during today's broadcast. <laughs> there may have been two so Oreo-related deaths Oreos earlier in the week, that? but on today's broadcast, no Oreos were harmed. Yes. Well, Enzo, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of the job you did on both of your videos. On that, on that first one where you're being friendly, I couldn't tell if you're being friendly and just approaching for a hug, or if you're doing a come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had a big smile on his face. So. He did have a smile, so I guess yes, it was it was the <laughs> yeah, it was a friendly hug. We enjoyed that video, Enzo. Every time, every time you did your uh, your hug, everybody laughed. <laughs> Enzo, we've uh, got a lot of debate here uh, raging at the racetrack uh, whether or not you were inspired more from the Scorsese or the Francis Ford Coppola school of um, films. <laughs> uh, any thoughts there? Or Adam Sandler. <laughs> I think he'd probably say Scorsese yeah, if he had to. I, I think so. <laughs> Why don't we uh, show our little uh, close-up detail here on the, uh, the prize winner. All right, so the prize that they're going for is a trophy that they get to build themselves. The Brick Cup. So the Brick Cup. So a nice little build. Comes with different things. Yeah, you could put Champion on the bottom, but it comes with other plates. So if you want to change it up, you can. So Enzo, who do you think is uh, the winner of today's race? Probably West. <laughs> West had, had a strong showing indeed with West, the A team. West is a heavy favorite. He like he likes. Oh, uh, no pun, on that car <laughs> no pun intended. Massive car here. <laughs> <laughs> a 
and, and we should point out for those international racers that all of the plates on the trophy are in English. We did not purchase the Russian or the Chinese version. Everything is in English today. That's why you have to figure out your own translations. But, but the one from Denmark, wow. Lego is from Denmark, so they should just be intuitive and just know how to build it, I would think. That's true. That's true. And I believe that was why uh, why Jackson had that as his, uh, as his uh, home hometown. So we're still tabulating the results. That seems a trend from that uh, region of the world that everything that they send out elsewhere in the world has to be assembled. Lego, Ikea. <laughs> I'm just saying, it just, just seems like, you know, build something for us. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll give you the parts, but you put it together. Oh, Absolutely. my goodness. Well, Enzo, I hope you uh, enjoyed the race today. And, uh, and yep. Vito, I appreciated your cameo in your brother's film, too. That's right. He's a great helper. Mr. Sean, what's your favorite part about being a Cub Scout leader? Probably that it only takes about an hour a week. Mr. Matt, about how long do you spend each week getting ready for your meetings? Not long at all. I'd say maybe only about an hour a week. Mr. Dan, what's your favorite part about committee meetings? Well, Mr. Sean, my favorite part about the committee meetings is that I keep them to less than an hour a week. Mr. Keith, what's the most rewarding thing about being a Cub Scout leader for you? Oh, it's the best hour a week you'll ever spend. Mr. Eric, what would you say to parents who are thinking about being Cub Scout leaders? Hmm. Well, if it's taking you more than an hour a week, you're scouting wrong. On behalf of Pack 2 just want to give a big thank you to Ace McQuaid's Hardware. Ace is the place for all your scouting and hardware needs. Pack 2 and Pack 2 Racing would like to thank Reverend Wayne and the Dunn's Corners Community Church Presbyterian for their continued support and for their hosting us uh, for all these years. Hi, when my car breaks down, there's only one place to go. But when my Lego car breaks down, there's definitely only one place to go. And that's Napa Auto Parts in Westerly. Napa knows how to support Pack 2 and Pack 2 Racing. So we're going to give a little uh, show here before we announce the final results. Just want you guys to appreciate out there on the interwebs all the hard work done by uh, Pac-2 and family in terms of the cars that uh, everyone's put together. There they all are lined up. Lots of hard work. And um, I want to personally thank everybody uh, who has submitted uh, car to pack two so thank you to everyone who participated and submitted and thank you again to all our sponsors back to you uh mr eric and mr keith for the results absolutely thank well, you mr dan so we have the results we're going to do the breakdowns by by divisions first so uh but in the sibling division we have jack kushner that that took the overall win in the uh, the den leader division. Well, well let's, let's take a little oh. pause here. We have a very VIP caller. Oh. May I ask who's on the line? It's Mr. Joe. Hi, hey, it's Mr. Mr. Joe. Joe. Oh. Hey, guys. Just wanted to call and say, first of all, thank you to all the racers who built cars today for today's race. The designs were excellent. A lot of fast cars, a lot of cool looking cars. Thanks to all the racers. I want to thank all the parents who helped drop that, drop off cars for our racers today. Fantastic. Uh, thank you for your support. And of course, thank you to our leaders, Mr. Matt, Mr. Sean, Mr. Eric, Mr. Keith. Thank you guys for pulling this all together. It's fantastic. And uh, looking forward to how our Pinewood Derby is going to be going down in a couple of months. So, once again, thanks everybody. Great effort today. Thank you, thank Mr. You. Joe. Thank you, Mr. Thank Joe. You, Mr. Thank you for Joe. all you do for the pack. Absolutely. We certainly had a lot of fun here today, and we're looking forward to the Pinewood Derby as well. Absolutely. So, like I said, in the sibling division, Jack Kushner took it. I'm going to try to go in order by the by Dent. So, in the Lions, we have Riley, Rai Rai, that, that was the winner of, of that Den. 
in the uh, Tiger Division, we have Jackson Wolgamuth. Good job, Very Jackson. good job, nice jo Jackson. Good job, Jackson. All your hard work paid off. In the yeah. Wolf Division, we have Wesley with the A Team Brick Car. Yeah, wow, good job, well Wes. Excellent. Nice work. With the Bears, we have Aiden with the Polar B150. Excellent yeah. job. In the Weebelows, we have Ben Wolgamuth, so both brothers performing very well in their dens. Well done by the Wolgamuth family. Excellent. And uh, <clears throat> probably the toughest division we have was the AOLs, where it was just Caleb, so he wins by default. Woo! He managed to win. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent job, Caleb. <laughs> and then we have, uh, for the den Thanks, leaders, man. well... Mr. Eric took it for the for the den leaders. Oh, a a he close did. second, Mr. Matt, and then Mr. Keith. Oh, well done, Mr. Eric so, and Mr. Matt. And then uh, I believe you have you're gonna have the overall. We have the overall results for you uh, shortly. In a moment here, we're just confirming uh, a couple things just so that there's no controversy, no reports of collusion. <laughs> But uh, again, I think they, they, they want to get their the winning cars so they can kind of show them off. Oh, that's right. right. Here we go. So they'll be right down here for you, and I'll hand them up. So in, all right. Uh, so we'll start off with third place. In third place, we had Enzo Ginther with the delivery truck. Whee! Third Excellent place job. overall. Nice well work, done, Enzo. Very good. And in second place, so Enzo's a Weeblo. In second place. We had another Weeblo with Ben Wolgamuth with the speeding pizza. Very good. Woo! All right. And I will let Mr. Eric announce the first place finisher. And the first place finisher, Wesley Brickmaster, Bricklayer, Billado with the 18 van. A little bit of damage, but it survived pretty well. There's Mr. T. It's hot. It up. Well Excellent. done. Mr. Sean, come out here and give us a statement, please. Mr. Mr. Sean, Matt, come on out and give us a statement. Yeah, come on out here. So we we appreciate you joining us, and we're gonna have the uh, Mr. Sean and Mr. Matt we're join do us. The flag retreat. Mr. Sean is going to uh, take uh, the flag off, and again give a thank you to all of our sponsors. Thanks, everybody. Way to go out there. So uh, well done, Pack Two. Salute. You don't do it. You're taking it. I'm taking it now. Retrieve the colors. Scout retreat. Thank you, Pack 2. Thank you for uh, tuning in, and this video will be recorded for your uh, rerun pleasure. <laughs> for posterity. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, thanks to all the leaders and all the parents who make this possible, to all the sponsors. And um, anything else we want to announce? Keep uh, keep tuned for the Brick Derby dates, and keep tuned. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, the Pinewood <laughs> Derby dates, and also uh, stay tuned for any announcements on the Blue and Gold ceremony, as well as upcoming Den and Pack meetings. Thank you. Thank you, Pack Two. Hope you had fun today.